Chapter 1 Spoiler After You by Jojo Moyes This chapter will have a recap of the events of After You. We'll also talk about the new addition to the novel, Lily, Will's daughter, which will bring us to Will's purpose in Lou's life. Was it so she can be finally ready for Sam? I guess we'll know. Turn the page. Welcome again to this chapter of Me Before You and the spoiler <laughs> chapter. Well, now we will just spoil everything. <laughs> yes, uh, I think we'd like to take it from the angle of people who watch the movie and want to know what's going to happen later. Yeah, even like people who have read the book and just want to join us in the discussion, you're welcome as well. Yeah, but... yeah. maybe we missed something you want to tell the others. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're just going to skip a couple of things. We're yeah, just going to yeah. go to the major, major... The major thing major that, things happened that happened with the start is when she goes home, she has She gets a big, drunk and, and get, drinks a lot of wine yes. and then goes on the rooftop and... Gets a big... Uh, have a big accident. She falls off the roof mm -hmm. and hits herself on the fire fire uh, escape. The stairs... And the balcony of her neighbor, I think. I think she falls yeah. on the balcony or something. And then... Uh, and then the paramedics pick her up with an ambulance and uh, she's ambulance. recovered. <laughs> <laughs> After that, she, she's healing her, and th then her family thinks she's trying to commit suicide because of her grief. But she didn't because someone on the rooftop actually scared her. Mm -hmm. Like, she was standing on the, on the, on the edge of the of building, the roof, yes. of the roof, screaming really loud and using very harsh language <laughs> shouting like, shouting like, at yeah, will you, trying to get all her frustration out uh -huh. and then behind her someone is scaring her like someone actually not scaring her intentionally but like calling her name or i can't remember specifically and then after that um we have her after she's recovered with her family she goes back to the apartment where she like she hates the place it, yes, this place is the like place that Will her. Will gave her with his money. Actually, she feels guilty. She with, feels guilty that living she has in that this house. Place, yeah. Okay, so after that, drum roll, <laughs> we meet Will's daughter. Star. Yes. Lily. Lily. A 16 year old girl. A troubled 16 year old girl. Oh who... my goodness. She is a roller coaster. And she is the one who takes Louisa on a journey of finding a way to be okay with mm -hmm. her grief. Of moving on. Of moving on and that it's okay to be sad, okay to try to hold on to him, but also trying to move on because she always talked to him in her head, yes. like trying to imagine what he would say or how he would react in a situation, even when she was with other people like her head was mm. somewhere else he was always there but you yeah. know the thing is what what happens when lily shows up is is the big question what if she has shown up earlier would yeah. he be here wouldn't he be here she would grapple with that question for a while i guess but if you would ask me personally i don't think it would have changed anything i think Personally, it would have depressed him, him more, even yes. more. He wouldn't be the father he wanted to be for his daughter. Exactly. Maybe he would stay a bit longer, but it yeah. would, we would have prolonged would the ha inevitable. Yes, run. it would yeah. have added more pain. Mm -hmm. And I think it would have made the situation worse. Like, really. Like, he wouldn't have stayed. It would have... And him leaving would have made an enemy of his daughter. You know, like, his daughter would hate him even more oh, but she would be more imagine like even my father doesn't want to exactly yeah, imagine yeah. imagine so yes because she's facing these issues she's, she feels like nobody accepts her nobody wants her nobody understands her she feels alone in this world and like finding out that she had her, another father another father or like we're finding out about her real father she knew that she, her father wasn't her real father yeah um that gave her hope of maybe finding a family finding someone who, would, who blood who like her yes. blood who would understand her and accept her for who she is and i and... think him <laughs> him being a ghost 
in her life is better than Mm -hmm. she meeting him right before he 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 wanted to go yes because then she would have really 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 despised him Mm -hmm. and now she has an ideal but now she has Uh like an like a vision of him like a nice vision Mm -hmm. because the people around him loved him Mm -hmm. and the people around him were with him for a very long time and supporting his decision so yes. they understood but she would have been like right at the end mm-hmm. you know like yeah. right before it the end and it's all just put very neatly together like her timing couldn't have been better like mm-hmm. helping louisa on her way of recovering from what happened to her I think it's more a gift for Lu- louisa than will yes exactly mm-hmm. it's 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 perfectly complete you know But with Lily comes a lot of trouble, comes a lot of responsibility, a like, lot of lot of mood swings, and sometimes I couldn't stand Lily. Like I hated her. I hated yes, her attitude. Too. I hated her. But I think that's teenagers. You know, we were we, like that we before. Were that. <laughs> no, 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 no. We were quite teenagers. <laughs> no, no, no. We weren't as horrible. We were a little horrible, but not as horrible. <laughs> horrible in our own way. <laughs> yeah. Everyone has their phase of teenager life. So. What I'm trying to say is that she is significant for her to move on, but the way it went down Mm -hmm. wasn't smooth. Like, (laughs) yes, she was a destructive force at the beginning. Yes, she even set her back a little bit. Yeah, but she did pull her down a bit. But Mm -hmm. then she, she, they went up together. You you know know what else? I feel like Louisa hung on to Lily. Uh, for the fear of moving on. A form of distraction. Yes. Her idea of taking care of someone else instead of taking care of herself. Yes. Her... And that is something her sister kept telling her as yeah, well. Like, yeah, yeah. When are you uh-huh. going to stop using her as, a, as an excuse not to move on? Yes. Like, she has this survival's guilt, I think. Yeah. She doesn't want to move on. No. And... And her idea of moving on is like is different, but she got her way in the end, I think. No, the ending was really satisfying. Mm-hmm. Okay, moving on to meeting her meeting Sam. Sam was the paramedic who saved her in the ambulance, who helped her survive the I'm fall not from the. You go. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Sam was actually one of my favorite characters in this uh, novel. Yes, he is. So good for Lou. Yeah, so, so good. He's like, <laughs> it's like too good to be true, actually. Yeah. Like someone who went through what Lou went through in a different way, in his own way. Of And course. he went through the same thing with a sister. With a sister, exactly. Well, she didn't commit suicide, but she yeah, died of she cancer. Had, she died of cancer. And he's he, he knows grief. You know, <sighs> just let had, it out. <laughs> yeah, if she had found someone who, who was normal yeah he would yes he wouldn't have understood her and like no but what if that someone was what she was for will what do you mean like she was this bubbly person who lifted will's spirit a bit and like maybe even made him think what if i change my mind but yeah what if she found her and a guy you know like oh her uh thinking that Yes, like yes, someone who would get her out of what she's in and like, yes. be perfect for her. But I feel like it's too good to have someone. <laughs> like the odds are are down, you know. Yeah, in yeah. Real life. The odds are against yeah. her. Yeah. Well, well, we have Sam like yeah. walking in the knight in shining armor, <laughs> helping Lou <laughs> with her life, and it was prolonged. Like it was really prolonged. Mm-hmm. Like we have her meeting him in the ambulance, and then we have him meeting her. After her therapy session, picking up the boy. Which was weeks later. Them bumping into each other. And then, of course, he wanted to meet her and get to know her. So he purposely tried to meet her. Like, he yeah, even showed up at her doorstep. Yeah, yeah. And her being glue, she <laughs> gets scared away and runs. And like, Yeah. I like how she keeps describing him as, as grounded, as a strong man. Like, she yeah. misses that. She doesn't want to... The hot she, paramedic. Uh, <laughs> the hot paramedic kid. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, how he's big and, like, how he, he's... I don't know. Someone she can lean on or... Yes. Someone she can be convinced that nothing is going to happen to him, though she still has that fear every yeah, day. Yeah, of, like, of course. You know, someone who's not fragile. Yes, that's yes. the word I'm, th- I'm searching for. She needed that. Well, yeah, that's that's really like really important. Mm-hmm. He she he was like a really important factor in her life. 
Yeah, after okay, after that, uh we have uh, Lily meeting her her grandparents. Mm-hmm. Uh, her grandfather moved on with another woman and he has a baby and her grandmother is in a really bad place like mm-hmm. even worse than little uh, than, than Luisa, Luisa. Yeah. Wow, of course, I she's, the about that. yeah she's, she's the mom yeah she's the mom one. she's the of one course. who and her husband left her and she lost the house and she and her career and her son and like everything, everything. it made me see that Luisa isn't going through anything You know, mm. that what she's going through isn't even... Ca- not- It's even going good for her with Ayua. Sam and Lily exactly. and everything. <laughs> It's like, yeah. you think you have it. But in, and, It's going and the, bad. And the person who needed Lily more than Luisa is the grandmother. Is the grandmother. Yes. And she ended up living with her grandmother. Which is so apt. Which is, I like that. Yes. Which is amazing. Mm-hmm. Which is amazing. And um, after that, we have her uh, leaving the uh, therapy group. Mm-hmm. Uh, at the very end oh in the middle we had sam being shot in one of the oh yeah she was like <laughs> she was dying in that uh-huh. one so louisa went through this phase where she doesn't where she doesn't want to admit that they are in a relationship and she's scared of that she's it's part of her moving on and she was scared of, of that of course and so like sam pulled back because he doesn't want to get hurt And while she was trying to get him back, he gets shot. <laughs> like, in real life, shot. <laughs> actually gets shot. Actually gets shot. And everyone, you remember the reaction? Did he actually get shot? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, it was her mother, I think, who like asked that. Or her yeah, father, yeah. something like that. It's like, I, th- I remember her texting her sister. It's like, oh, by the way, Sam got shot. We're in the house... <laughs> We're in the hospital. hospital yes. What? <laughs> Actually shot? <laughs> um, no, with a squirt gun. My God, yes, he got shot. <laughs> After that, we have her uh, accepting a job in New York. And that's pretty much the ending of the book. Like, we have her not wanting to let go of Sam and being scared of uh, um, a long-distance relationship. Mm -hmm. But he assured her that it's going to be okay, they're fine, they're going to get through it. And um, we have her doing like a cute little last uh, therapy session with all everyone. Oh, that with was amazing. Everyone, with all like, the characters of the oh, book who haven't met me at exactly. the end. Exactly. Every single this. person. It was like a TV show finale, you know? Yeah. It was <laughs> yeah. perfect, like wrapped up together neatly. And it was perfect, like mm-hmm. everyone letting off what they had to say. Yes. Even Lily had a moment yeah. where she was saying uh-huh. that it's okay that he's dead, but I love you and... It was so emotional. And a, and a, yeah, it was. It was. Yeah. It was. Uh, and then we have her in the airport uh, saying goodbye to Sam and then pretty much leaving off to New York to her new job. Yeah. And that's it. The end. The end. <laughs> um, in the end, this book or these two books made me think about like loving someone who's in a way... Is in your league and out of your league. I don't know. I mean, will. Mm-hmm. And and losing this someone. And having to live without them. As always, you always think happy thoughts of like, when we meet someone, when we live our yeah. lives together. Falling in love and being in love. and But I think that's what was hard about like the, the story. Losing this person that made you want to be more and like get out of your little girl skirt and like go out in the world and do something you love you love and even though like he lost that mm. of meeting someone who you wouldn't meet in your normal life of It's, course yeah like he's out of her league i mean like Definitely. he was in london and this uh, corporate high something society. high society person and she's just lou working in the cafe loving to speak with people and like also Uh, they were like at a different age from each other like I think when they met she was 26 and him 35 that's it's not a huge age difference no but I mean they're not our age you know when I read this book I was just out of my teens and oh okay you know okay, yeah it was adults not adults of stories I wasn't young I'm practically an adult uh-huh. but I mean it's like I love I mean grow up You know, yeah. I was reading these contemporary young adult books, or like 
with high school and stuff and then I'm in I'm in this world where it it opened my eyes on a lot on lots of things. It's definitely something completely different from what we usually read. Read I and think. experience. It's read and experience, yeah. Yes. No, but our style has definitely changed and I think mm -hmm. after me before you was one of the steps that like took us to the next level of mm -hmm. experiencing a different genre of books but then again you have read like other books um Lindsay Kelp yeah, I think with, that's her name the I Heart yes, yes the, the I, I Heart, Heart series. series it was the same age as Louisa and she was British and she was like yeah she, uh, yes they have the same similar same theme. story yes And you have th read those for a while, so... Yeah, yeah, I've been reading them since grade nine. I think. Wow. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was fast, like it was... She was 10 years older than I am. Yeah. <laughs> in a way, in our culture, like, we don't get the high school phase where we're dating and stuff. So no. when I read a book where they are adults, they meet, they fall in love and they get married, this is what we're looking for here. Yeah. This is our culture, so it feels closer to me, th though the age is different. Mm -hmm. And I wonder when I reach their age, where will I be? And I want to reread the books when I'm their when age. When you're in their the book, age, yes. yeah. And like, see, it's always when I read the books after a couple of years, I'm different, you know? I'm, yeah, of I'm course. Older, so We have developed. I have a different. Yes, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I remember um, there were books that I read when I was younger and I read them and I had no idea what they were saying. Mm -hmm. Like, I, w I don't know, like grade 10 maybe in grade 9 like that's when I developed my interest for reading mm -hmm. and uh, before that I read German books you know like but children books you mm -hmm. know like yes. these uh, silly novels Adventure. adventures yeah, and yeah. like you know like <laughs> the famous <laughs> five or, and these kind of things you know but this is real life this, this, this is, is actual real like you know and uh, I think It needs a certain kind of age to understand them or mm -hmm. to relate to them. In yes, a, at exactly. least, yeah. you know. But they aff yeah. they affected me. I, I knew I knew what it means to to grieve. Thank God I haven't lost anyone. But yeah, I knew what it was to love like an adult. You know, think mm -hmm. of love as an adult person, not as as it, a child. Yeah, yeah. I remember you wanted to talk about the differences between all the three boyfriends she's had. Patrick, yeah. Will, and I Sam. I mean, like, she stayed with Patrick for a long, long time. Long time. Please explain to me why. Like, how could she, like, okay, endure this person? The Lou that I want, it wasn't enduring him. It was Except her him. being safe in a routine. Mm. Her on the borderlines watching someone... Even like even if his <laughs> career is silly, like running and stuff, it's not. You need no offense to anyone, but I mean, <laughs> and uh, from Will's pers perspective, at least, or he was a shallow person. I mean, Patrick, Patrick, yes, yeah. So when Will came into her life, or rather, she went into his life. Uh, he, she knew deep down that she's she's not living. She's just like mm -hmm. on the borderlines, and she wants the the life she grew up to knew her mother and her father marrying at a young age, having a home, having kids, and yeah. like her mom at home, her father at work, and like the routinely, the routine life that everyone goes through. She though she had dreams of like fashion and she had the talent for it, and but she was content being just in the small town being just the the nobody girl yes. <laughs> and i think that but that as well stemmed from a trauma when she was a teenager that we explored and after you with yeah Lily. when she was uh when she did the silly girls thing of being drunk being drunk and, and yeah. not and losing hours and like that traumatized her so i think she went into this cocoon and comfort she, zone th this comfort zone exactly and, and not not even thinking about leaving this comfort zone uh -huh. and like, will was outside that comfort zone yeah way out of that way comfort. out of the <laughs> even with with his accident and disability like, yeah he was still like really the life of the party you mm -hmm, know mm -hmm. even with his mood swings and everything will <sighs> i think will in her life like So we know now that this, like, Will isn't her happily ever after, so. Of course, yeah. So Will was the <clears throat> the catalyst, the thing that 
Which, nice. Yes. Yeah. Will is the catalyst in her life. Yes, they 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 had true love and everything. Yeah, yeah. But but first of all, like it couldn't have been anything more than it was. Okay. Yes. I think she would have been restrained. She would have ended up unhappy. Mm-hmm. She would have blamed him for her un- unhappiness. Again, like you said perfectly, he's the catalyst to changing her and shaping her into the person she is supposed to be. Yes. And Though there is the her... setback uh, part where she's grieving and everything. This is life, you know. It's life. That's what I love about the story. Yeah. It's life. Yeah. Yes, there is. It's like there's no such thing as when someone you love passes away and then you go on a trip to Paris and then everything's fine and uh, everything is. Get uh, back, meet the cute guy and like. Yeah, exactly. And then I go on with my life. No, that's not what happens in real life. In real life, you have setbacks, you have grief, you have everything. You have moments where you just want to be drunk and, of course, we don't experience that. (laughs) (laughs) Or like being broken and put back together. Yeah. (laughs) Literally. We have those moments. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's kind of interesting to experience someone going through that, you know? Right from the start of the book, we see her broken. Mm-hmm. And I I loved that, you yes. know? I was loving that. It's like, yes, be real with me. Show me the real thing, mm-hmm. you know? Exactly. Show me the raw darkness and the face she's going to go through where she's going to beat herself up, cry every night, not wanting to live. And that is something that amazed me you know yes. and then like her broken and having a hole in her and she she wants to be complete yes. with her like getting on on her feet and being yes complete in every way and not sam who makes her complete but it's no. lily so it's she's, lily exactly. she's now ready she's a complete full person with experience who's so life yeah and he and, it's, and because he's ready to experience life so. yeah Because Lily is a part of Will, and so she feels a little uh, like he is with her, because she has personality traits of of Will that Mm -hmm. remind him of him, and um, we have her being this person that she who reminds her of how good Will was, not the bad side that not the person who left her, yes, but the person who loved her, yes. So now she's ready for Sam, I think. Yeah, she was ready for anything. I think, yeah. She's ready for anything. That's why she took the job in New York. Yes, exactly. And and that's how she's, she's ready for a new she's page. Strong enough to to stay in a long in a long distance relationship, relationship. though because she is stable in her <laughs> in her life at the yes. moment. She knows what she wants and she knows it's going to work. Yes, again. Yes. Like she was at that point where she's not mature enough to yeah. go for what she wants. But yeah. now in a way like I said, complete. It's complete. All right. Yeah. I think we've said everything. <laughs> we've poured our hearts out. We didn't cry. Thank God. Yeah. <laughs> no tissues were harmed in making of this podcast. <laughs> but we will see you in the next chapter where we talk about predictions for Still Me, the third book of the trilogy. Trilogy of the Bumblebee in New York. The Bumblebee in New York. <laughs> <laughs> the British accent yes. in Manhattan. Aww. <laughs> Which is gonna be so weird. <laughs> I'm excited to hear the audiobook where she goes switching from British British to oh, American. Oh yeah, I've experienced that with the, the Lindsay Kelp books. It's, yeah, it's good, you know. Like, y- you see the difference between American and British, and like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> all right, all right. We'll see you in the next chapter. (laughs) Congratulations, you have made it to the end of this chapter. We post every second Monday of every month, so stay tuned for the next chapter of Between the Pages, where we will talk about the third novel, Still Me. In the meantime, check out our predictions chapter, where we cooked up theories of what might happen next in the journey of Louisa Clark's life. Mark the page for chapter 2.